Hello and welcome to another tutorial by the Butler. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Photoshop showing you how to make a logo using uh, other artwork or a uh, picture or some other source that has text or something undesirable on it that you want to get rid of but keep the base picture. If that doesn't make any sense you'll see what I'm talking about the rest of the video. <clears throat> First, you're going to need a picture. Uh, I got mine from the new Becoming the, Arch Become it. Becoming the Archetype album Dichotomy. Uh, yeah, you just need to find a picture and then save it. And then uh, open up Photoshop. I'm doing this in CS3, but you can do it in uh, Photoshop 7 as well. I don't know about earlier versions because I've never used them. Uh, then go up to File, Open, uh, um, and find your picture. And there it is. Okay, now I recommend increasing the image size just so that you can, it'll look better. Things always look better smaller, they almost never look better larger. So always increase your image size before starting. I'm going to increase mine to about 5,000 pixels. <clears throat> um, it doesn't really matter how high you go. I recommend at least 2,500 to get a good picture. Or a good finished product, rather. Then uh, just uh, get the zoom tool, right click, hit fit on screen. Now, uh, you see how there's these words down here? It says dichotomy. I don't know if you can see that. And then right here, it says becoming the archetype. Uh, I don't want that. I'm going to replace it with my text, which will just say the butler. But there's no. But I want to keep all this background image, like this dude's head and all the wires and stuff coming out of it. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today. First, you're going to go over here to your Layers menu, and see it where it says Background. I'm going to click and drag it down here to the Add New Layer button, and I'll duplicate your layer. Uh, I'm going to rename my Layer 1 just because I can. It just helps keep everything organized. Uh, then you're going to go over here to your Clone Stamp tool and select that. Now, um, at first, if you have any uh, experience with Photoshop, you might feel the urge to use the magic eraser and simply erase the white. Of course, if you do that, then you're just going to have nothingness there, and you'll still see where it says becoming the archetype. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that instead. Um, get your zoom tool and zoom in on the uh, first letter that you want to do, I'm going to start down here on the bottom where it says dichotomy, then click your clone stamp tool. Um, I'm doing this on Windows, I don't really know what the uh, key equivalent is for Alt on a Mac, but uh, you hold down Alt and then you select somewhere relatively close to the letter and left click, then remove your finger from Alt. Now if you drag your cursor over the um, letter, it will replace it with um, the pixels from down in this area. So it, it effectively makes the D invisible. Now right here you can still see there's some blurring and um, I don't know, disfiguration I suppose. Uh, once you zoom out, you really can't notice and uh, see, there's the D, there's without the D, 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 D. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do the whole thing just because it's a bit of a pain. I'll do one more letter just to make sure that you got it. Um, get your clone stamp tool. Alt click to select where you want it to clone from. And then just click and drag around. Um, the closer that you can get to 
um, where you're erasing, the better, just because it helps for consist image consistency. Um, yeah, so whenever you're done, I actually already have one. Uh, this. <clears throat> this is my finished product over here, if you can see that. Um, I already shrunk mine down. But whenever you're done uh, getting rid of the letters, pretty much all you have to do is get your text tool and type in whatever you want your text to be. In this case, it would be the butler. And then pretty much center that, get whatever color you want. And then, uh, yeah, then you're going to go back up to image size once again and uh, decrease it back down. If you're doing a YouTube logo, you're going to want it about 80 to 90 pixels. That's what mine is, is on 90. Um, yeah, just go back to image size. That would not be it. Image, image size. And then decrease it down to about 90 pixels. Give it a second. And then it'll decrease. It'll look really small. Just uh, get your zoom tool. Right click and hit actual pixels it'll zoom in uh, that's what your finished product will look like um, yeah that's pretty much it it's really simple it's a bit time consuming depending on how much you need to erase and how good you want it to look pretty much the more time you put into it the better it's gonna look so don't rush through it or it's gonna look like crap um, yeah once again this has been the butler rate subscribe comment Send me any ideas that you would like for me to do a tutorial on. Um, yeah, have fun. Don't die.